Guess what, guys? What, Stashi? It's time for the Word, word of God. God. It's, it's time, time for the, the Word of God. God. It's time for the Word of God. It's time for the Word of God. It's time for the Word of God. Wow, Stashi. Oh, my goodness. Hi, guys. Oh, what's up, guys? We miss you so much. Oh, my goodness, Stashi. We miss them so much. Oh, my goodness. Brielle in Brooklyn. You got Samaj Gigi. Oh, my goodness. You got all the kids, Eli. You got everybody. We miss oh them so goodness. much. Oh, my goodness. We miss you so much. Hey, kids, how you guys are doing? Come we hope on. you guys are hanging in there. We love you. We, we love hope you. that you're keeping up with the Word of God through Kingdom Kids and, on YouTube. And we hope that you're still learning the books of the Bible. I know. That's right. Hello. Y'all come back. Come on. It's going to be ten. Can you time. spell back, Miss Nastashi? Uh-huh. B. A. C. K. Back. 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 Mr. Ramsey, my hand did not need a shower. You know what? I thought your fingernail <laughs> was melting. Y'all like Miss Nastashi nails? Can, I glued them on. If, if you see her nails, you walk up nails. to the screen and say, no, Miss Nastashi. Uh-uh, uh-uh, don't do that, don't do that. No. Skinny legend on the track. <laughs> <laughs> We miss y'all so much, oh my but we have an awesome, awesome message for you today. And guess what? What? We have two special guests. Who do we have? That have come from a drawer near you. A drawer? <laughs> yes! Come on, Miss Nastasia, I gotta put my thinking finger up. That's a short finger. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I, so we have two. I'm not from. I'm not gonna play with you, Mr. Ramsey. They're laughing at me. Oh, they're not. They love you, Mr. Ramsey. Do you guys love me? <laughs> yes, you love me. And I do love you guys you too. love me? Oh. Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's singular. Oh man. See, that's why you got to stay in school, kids. You got to stay in school. <laughs> do not be like Mr. Ramsey. Oh, they, they need to be like Mr. Ramsey. Mr. Yes. Ramsey's the best. You're the best brother, Mr. Ramsey. And you are the best sister. Yes! Brother, High five. Ah. So, yeah. we have two special guests for you. And Mr. Ramsey, are you going to introduce your special guest? Well, I got a real close friend of mine. His name is Salt. Hello, guys. <laughs> nice to meet you, Salt. Nice to meet you. My name's Miss Stashi. Hello, Miss Nastashi. And I have a special guest for you guys. Her name is Pepper. Is that Pepper? Hey! Whoa, hey Pepper, how are you? How are you? So I wow, I haven't seen you since the quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been hanging around the dryer. Have you been, uh, yeah, I'm just thinking. <laughs> Well, well, guys, our yes. special guests today are going to give you guys the message. Guys, how you feel about giving the message? I'm excited. I feel good. <laughs> wow. Salt, are you really sure that you feel good? Yeah. Girl, they just yeah. be over there talking. And yeah. To get in some I'm just ready to hear what God has yes. to say today on Sunday. All right. Are you ready, kids? Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Friends. Hey guys, how are you today? So, Pepper, I'm gonna go ahead and teach the lesson today. Are you excited? Well, my name is Salt. It's not Pepper. <laughs> you cannot confuse me that way. You're right. I'm sorry, seasoning salt. That's okay. I understand. <laughs> this is what happens all the time. All right. Hey, friends in TV land. Hey, guys. I'm so happy to have you here to talk about faith. Faith? Is that spelled F-A-I-T-H? Faith, yes, that's right. Faith is so important. Faith changes the way we live our lives. What do you mean? The way we think about ourselves, the way we think about God, and the way we treat others. The way we think about God and how we treat others? Yes! Whoa. Faith is so important. Faith is sort of like binoculars. Guys, do you know what binoculars are? Wait, hold on, Pepper. You gotta slow it down a little bit. I'm trying to understand the word binoculars. Are you talking about things I can look through and see a little bit closer? Yes, like your glasses. Wow, <laughs> that is so cool. All right, tell me more. So, they just like binoculars that we look through to see everything in our life. It helps us to make sense of things and know what to do when things get hard. 
Wow. Yeah. That is so cool. I wish I would have learned that a long time ago, but I guess quarantine makes me learn it now. I know, but you know what else? Why? Faith reminds us that we can trust God no matter what. Wow. Is there a way that I can really see what faith really means? Yes. So I want everybody to take out their Bibles. Okay. And go to the book of Hebrews. Hebrew? Yes, Hebrews in the New Testament. Whoa, New Testament. All right, I think I'm ready, Pepper. All right, Salt. So, go to Hebrews chapter 11. Hold on, let me run. Are you running? Wait, I'm running. Chapter 11. Wait, I'm coming back. <laughs> what Pepper, is she doing? I now? got my book. I'm ready. Awesome. Chapter 11, verse 1. Mm hmm. Open your Bibles. So, here we go. Faith is being sure of what we hope for, it is being sure of what we do not see. This is what the people of long ago were praised for. So, you're telling me so I can have faith to get some Skittles? Yeah, you can. Wow. Yeah. Because I don't see it right now, but I'm having faith I can get some. Right. So you feel like Skittles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you see, your mouth is drawn on, so I don't know why. Anyways, you see, faith is all about believing in things that you can't see because of what you can see. Mm. We can't see God, but we can read about people who came before us who followed God. Wait, you have people who were here before us? To follow God? Yes. Whoa. These were men and women who faced tough times just like you and I do. You know when they put us in the dryer and they forget about us? Yeah, I like my t-shirt, right? Right. Your cousin, <laughs> your cousin t-shirt? Wow, yes, my cousin t-shirt. Wow. So, just like you and I do, people who were hurting, scared, and sometimes overwhelmed, but they chose to follow God. They chose to trust his promise that he would one day send a rescuer. And do you know who the rescuer was? Who is the rescuer? The rescuer was Jesus! Whoa! J-S-U-S, yeah, he's my everything. So, are you an R&B singer? Yes, I love to sing. That's the way I stay focused. <laughs> <laughs> so, the writer of the book of Hebrews reminds us about some of these people who we've met so far in God's big story. Mm. People like Noah and Abraham. Is Noah the one who built the big boat? Yes! Whoa! Do you guys remember Noah? Yeah! What about you kids? Remember Noah? And the ark with the animals? Wait, I think I can hear them, Pepper. Hold on. Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> I heard them, Pepper. <laughs> wow. So take Abraham, for example. Abraham was really, really, really old. It didn't seem like he and his wife, Sarah, would ever have kids. Was he old like Mr. Ramsey with no hair? Just like that. Whoa, that's very, very old. <laughs> Keep going, Pepper. But then God stepped in with a promise. God told Abraham to leave his country and his people to leave his family to go to the land that God would show him. Wow. So, could you see yourself leaving your land? I mean, I have a hard time seeing myself leave my house and my room, so I couldn't imagine what Abraham was thinking. Wow. So God promised him that all of the nations of the earth would be blessed because of Abraham. You see, God was planning to send his rescuer who would come from Abraham's family. Abraham had God's promise, but he couldn't fully see the way God's promise would come true. Wow. But guess what, Saul? What? Still, Abraham had the faith to trust God. Wow. Wow. The faith. That's the word again. Yeah. He left his home and his people. Mm -hmm. He followed God's call. Mm -hmm. Eventually, Abraham's son, Isaac, his grandson, Jacob, and his great-grandson, Joseph, 
all chose to put their faith in God. So faith's been around a long time, huh, Pepper? Do you remember Joseph? Yes, I remember Joseph. And his dreams? N no, I remember Joseph at Burger King and Chick-fil-A. Oh, that's the wrong Joseph. That's Jojo. Oh, that's the lemonade juice. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just like Abraham, all of his family, they believe that God keeps his promises. Saul, do you believe that God keeps his promises? Yes, because I'm still here. And because, guess what? What? During quarantine, I got to sleep in a lot. Wow! <laughs> yes! Another great example is Moses. Mm. Just like Abraham, Moses was called by God to do something rather extraordinary something that he didn't feel like he was ready to do. Wow. Have you ever been that like that? Yeah, I felt like that before. Wow. And in the moment, he couldn't really see how it could all work out. Have you guys ever gotten in trouble and you feel like, I'm just, this is the end? Um, by the looks of it, yeah. I see him, I, who do I see? Oh, I, I, I see Pearson in front of the, the TV. So I, I guess he really has agreed to it. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, Pearson. Hey, Pearson. But just like that, Abraham, Moses, they chose to put God first. They put their faith in God. Wow. So are you telling me that it is so important to put our faith in God? What, even like Abraham, like going through a lot of things and even though we don't see what's going on, to have faith in God. That's to right. Help us get through. That's right. That's just like if you have a really hard test and you know you've studied for hours and hours, but you still feel like you don't, you're not going to pass. Mm -hmm. Put your faith in God. Open your mouth and say, God, Father God, I need you, and I have faith that I'm going to pass. Well, Pepper, I have uh, something I want to say. Yeah. I'm having faith that I get to go back to school safely and see my friends all over again. Wow, I totally miss my friends, Salt. Yeah, I miss sharing. Every Sundays when we come from Kingdom Kids, I always have an opportunity to go talk to my friend about what we learn, and I miss that. I miss showing them what God loves look like. Wow, you know who else missed their friends? Who else? Moses. Wow. Moses was an Israelite, mm. one of God's people, but he had been raised in Pharaoh's palace. Pharaoh was the leader of Egypt, and he had forced the Israelite people to work as slaves. So, all that drama. Wait, are you telling me that they were slaves? They like, were slaves. Like they were working really hard? Yeah. Whoa. So guess what? What? One day, God called to Moses from a burning bush and told Moses to lead his people out of slavery. Moses wasn't sure he was the man for the job. But in the end, guess what, Saul? Why? He chose to stand with his own people against Pharaoh. What? Sure he enough. To stand with his own people against Pharaoh? Yeah. Whoa. Sure <laughs> enough. Whoa. God used Moses to lead his people to freedom. And that's not all. What else happened? Saul, say all this drama. All this drama. <laughs> <laughs> When you read the book of Hebrews, you discover a huge list of people who followed God by faith. The list goes on and on, so long that the writer eventually stops naming them all. Mm. One name that we cannot forget to mention is Israel's greatest king. And guess who the greatest king? Guess who's named after the greatest uh, king? Uh, 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 uh. Pepper, can you tell me the name? Yes. King David! King David? Whoa! Who else is named David that we know? We have, wait, wait, wait. I remember in church, at the Kingdom Church, our pastor is named Pastor yes! David. Yes! Hey, we know Pastor David! So are you telling me that King David is short like Pastor David? <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about our pastor? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having faith. <laughs> <laughs> so guess what? What? King David knew that God had chosen him to be king of God's people. But years passed and it hadn't happened. To make matters worse, mm -hmm. the current king, King Saul, wanted to kill him. No. All not that kill drama. Him. What do you mean kill him? That's not good. No, it's not. David spent years of his life on the run from King Saul. Like this? Maybe a little faster. 
that must have been really hard on him. That must have been. But guess I was what? Really tired. You were tired? Yeah. But guess what? David put his faith in God. Wow. Even though David couldn't totally see how things were going to work out, he chose to trust God. He had faith that God would keep his promise. Eventually, guess what, Saul? What, what happened, Pepper? God did, and David became a great king. None of these people from the Old Testament could see with their eyes how God was going to save his people. Instead, they chose to trust God and believe that he would keep his promises. They believed that God had a greater plan. Wow. They all chose faith. They all chose faith. So Abraham chose faith. Uh, yeah, Joseph chose faith. Um, Noah chose, okay, Noah chose faith. Um, David chose faith, and they all became great. So I'm guessing in this season, um, if I choose faith, and I choose to continue to love God and trust God, that I can continue to be great in what he's called me to be, right? Pepper? That's right. Thank you. You are supposed to have faith. Faith. Wow. F-A-I-T-H. All these people were praised because they had faith, but none of them received what God had promised. That's because God had planned something better for us. So God always planned something better for us, Pepper. Yes. Wow. He has something better planned for all of us. His big story has been taking shape all the way from creation until now. And God did send his rescuer at just the right time. He sent his son. And what's his son's name? Jesus. Woo! Uh, he yeah. sent Jesus to be our savior. Jesus showed us what God is like. He even told us that the most important thing we can do is love God and to love others. Jesus came to show us the way. And to show us faith, huh, Pepper? That's right. Wow. I'm so thankful, Pepper, that you really helped me to understand where I am in this season. And I thank you for sharing the word faith and for really introducing me to your Sunday school class. Right, and when you say season, are you talking about seasoning? I'm talking about like salt and pepper, like you and I name. <laughs> <laughs> so, we want everybody right now to write down the scripture for the week, which is Hebrews 11, one through 12, verse three. Mm -hmm. Say that again. Hebrews 11, 1 through 12, verse 3. And the memory verse is, faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Hebrews 11, 1. Woo! So what is faith? Well, I guess my, with my eyes, this is faith. That's right. Repeat after me, guys. Repeat after me, Salt. I will. Faith. 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 Can you say faith right? Huh, I'm saying faith right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go. We, we still on tip. Yeah. Repeat after me. Faith. Faith. Is trusting in what you can't see. It's trusting in what you can't see. Not can't. Can't see. That you can't see. Because of what you can see. Because of what you can see. Thank you for singing that last part. No problem, Pepper. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's lesson. We love you and we miss you. Hey, Salt, let's go get Miss Stashi and Mr. Ramsey. All right, let's call them up. Mr. Ramsey, Miss Stashi. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Whoa! Whoa! Man, they taught that class. They're <laughs> <laughs> They're awesome. <laughs> they are awesome. Didn't you guys enjoy that story? It was amazing. Wow, talk about faith, man. Talk about faith. Talk about being a believer. Man, the way God used Abraham, that was just so cool to keep his promise. He's so faithful. And for Abraham to let go of everything 
to follow what God says. I know that's right, but you know here at the Kingdom Church, it's so important because the one thing that we stick by is following God. And loving people. And with that, what else do we do? We change the city. That's right, we change the city. And we don't want you to think just because you're kids that you can't follow God, that you can't love people, and that you can't change the city because you are the start. You are the start of following God. Yep. You are the start of loving people, and you are the start of changing the city. Kids are the best. And you know what, Miss Nastasi? Mm -hmm. And it's so important, you use faith by trusting your parents. That's right. You know? That's right. Listening to what they're saying, right? Because That's right. Because Abraham mm -hmm. listened to God. He did. Right? And because he listened to God, he reaped great things. He did. That's he, the best, that's the best life. There were great rewards. So imagine if you take this time out to listen to your parents. That's right. Your peers, your teachers. Maybe you should get your work done. Maybe you should stop complaining about. I don't have this and I don't have that. But if you have faith, God will show you on the other side, just like he did with Abraham. Because it's so exciting to say and to know that I'm a believer, that I believe in God so much yes. that I choose him to handle it. Yes, yes. Right? Well, Ms. Nastasi, I think uh, Salt and Pepper wanted to pray us out. Okay. So, guys, thank you so much for allowing us to be with you today. And you're watching this YouTube channel. But uh, we're not the teachers today, salt and pepper is. Right. Mr. Ramsey, did you just slip up a straw? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let them close out, Miss Nastasha. All right, let's go find right. them. Give us one second. Pepper, we gotta go. Pepper, get ready. Salt. Hello. Salt, are you here? Wait, my pepper. Pepper. Salt. Come here, girl. Where are you here? Pepper, come here, girl. Okay. You're here. Ah! Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Did you find him? I, I found him. Wait. wait. Pepper! Where's Pepper? Oh, God, she ran to the kitchen. Pepper? Pepper? <laughs> Pepper? Does anybody I'm here, see Pepper? I'm here. Pepper? I'm here. All right, Pepper, we have to, uh, yeah, we have to close this out, Pepper. Can, do you mind if I pray, Pepper? Please, pray. Dear God, thank you so much. Yes for this wonderful day. Thank you for the story that you allow Pepper to share with me today about faith. I pray in the name of Jesus that this week I will practice and I will learn more about faith in what you've given me. So God, I pray that you will allow us to go through this week using the faith that you have put inside of us. Thank you, God for our parents, for being safe, for having a message that Salt and Pepper was able to share with us for the sake of what we've been through, God. So I thank you that God, that in this time, that every children that is watching, they will trust like Abraham. They will trust like Moses. Yes! They will trust like Joseph. They will trust like David. And God, I thank you for doing all that you do for us. In Jesus' name, Pepper, I pray, amen. Amen! Amen. Bye, guys!